In this quick and very much to the point guide, I'm going to be showing you how to use HD texture packs with PCSX2. There's a few different places you can get PS2 texture packs from, but GBA Temp seems to be the best one. They have an active community of texture pack creators with a dedicated group. And I'll put a link for this in the description below. One important thing to note is that some creators will upload these individually and others will upload these as part of a master list. So if you're going to the top result here, as you can see, he's provided an entire list of every single texture pack that he's made for PS2. And there's a bunch of these with a download link that will take you to all of them. So ever browse and download the one that you want. Once you've downloaded your texture pack, you want to unzip it like I've already done here. Then just open up the folder and then you should see another folder inside with a bunch of letters and numbers. This is effectively the serial number for the version of the game that you need to use. So if you go into PCSX2, you can see you've got those serial numbers on the left hand side of the game title. So for God of War here, as you can see, these are identical. Now that we've confirmed we've got the correct version, you need to add these to PCSX2. So bring up the PCSX2 file system. And if you're running this in portable mode, you should see a portable.txt file. In which case you should have this textures folder right here. Open this up and move the folder that has all the letters and numbers into that textures folder. If you're not using portable mode, your file system is going to look like this and be missing a bunch of folders. And that's because when you're not using portable mode, those folders will be created in your documents instead. So if you go to your documents, you should see a folder called PCSX2 with all of those missing folders. And if that's the case, you can just take those HD textures and place them in that textures folder. Now, if you do want to set up a custom location for your textures, all you need to do is open up PCSX2, go into settings and then go into the graphics options. Move over to texture replacement. And as you can see, you can set up a custom content directory for those textures. Just click on browse and select the folder where they're actually located. And do keep in mind, it's very much recommended to have all of your textures on an SSD. Now that you've got your textures location and your folder path all sorted out, we now of course need to change some settings, which we are gonna be doing on a per game basis. So all of these changes that we make for HD textures specifically don't affect the rest of your games that aren't using HD textures. So you wanna close down the global settings, go into the games list, right click on your game and then click on properties. Then go down to graphics on the left hand side and the very first thing that you want to do here is go straight into texture replacements and activate load textures and asynchronous texture loading and this will of course load in those HD textures. You only want to activate these two unless the texture pack instructions state otherwise which is pretty rare. Now with the display and rendering options I've already gone ahead and changed these to what I recommend you use with HD textures. So you can go ahead and copy me if you want to. But do keep in mind these are not set in stone and you can change them if you have a personal preference or if your performance can't hack it. The three main settings that have a significant impact on performance, especially with HD textures, is internal resolution, trilinear filtering and blending accuracy. So if you do need to free up some headroom, I recommend turn trilinear filtering back to automatic and then dial back your resolution if you still need some headroom. Now blending accuracy, I recommend you leave on basic by default and only increase it if the game that you're playing tells you to in the top left hand corner when you actually start the game. But keep in mind, if you do need to set this higher, you might need to dial back some of these other settings to accommodate for it. If you're on good hardware, there's nothing to say that you can't increase your internal resolution to whatever you want. Normally, this isn't advisable going beyond your screen resolution, but with HD textures, you can pretty much just have at it. So despite the fact that I'm on a 1080p monitor, I will still use 4K. Once you're satisfied with your settings and you've actually turned texture loading on, which I forget about all the goddamn time, you can go ahead and close the game properties and start the game. Then enjoy it in glorious HD. There we go, that was my super quick guide on how to use HD textures with PCSX2. Now this is going to be the first in a series of videos where I show you how to use HD textures with as many emulators as possible. So if you want to keep up to date with all of that, you know what to do. And if you found today's video helpful, slam me a thumbs up. And apart from that, Go play some games. Adios.